Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty cool device from Papago. Uh, and this is uh, a tire pressure monitoring system. So this is going to fall into our uh, automobile tech or auto tech uh, category and playlist. So let's go ahead and take a look. So a lot of vehicles today, uh, some of the newer ones, the fully loaded ones, have a built-in tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, so usually it's it's somewhere on board, uh, somewhere on a little display screen on the dash that you can toggle across and you can actually see what your tires uh, PSIs are actually at and that's your basically your your tire pressure uh, and it will notify you uh, of you know low tire uh, pressure and, and problems uh, ahead of time in, in alerts but a lot of vehicles especially the older ones even the newer ones if you don't buy those fully loaded ones like uh, you know I, I have like a 2012 I think uh, Nissan Xterra does not have that built in okay so this system is for those vehicles older newer that do not have this built in and this is a tire pressure monitoring system this is the GoSafe TPMS100 from Papago. Uh, and so let's go ahead and take a quick look at its tech features and stuff here uh, and what you get in the box. So obviously it has one uh, receiver with USB charger and four sensors. Each one's going to go on a specific tire on your vehicle. Each one runs on a CR1632 battery, which those are included. You get four of them. Uh, this comes with a hex hexagon nut wrench an uncap wrench, five hexagon nuts, a user manual, and a warranty card uh, all built in. This is at a frequency of 433.92 megahertz is what it communicates on. Uh, the pressure range is zero uh, bars to 3.5 bar uh, and zero PSI to 51 PSI's and its accuracy is within one PSI uh, which is really that's about all you can ask for especially with temperature fluctuations and stuff like that you know it, it's good to have actually within one PSI so this thing is going to be uh, definitely worth it uh, and this runs on a battery like I said it's a 3 volt CR1632 uh, each sensor has that built in so let's go ahead pop it over here on the back see what it says its features are uh, easy installation within three minutes accuracy of like plus one PSI's it's light and compact wireless transmitter it's water resistant better be on your tires USB port on the LCD charger so you're gonna get a USB charging port uh, on the uh, receiver an anti-theft sensor uh, mounting design so don't worry about somebody trying to come around and steal this uh, so it does have the, some anti-theft built in uh, abnormal pressure warning so it's going to give you those alerts uh, on your uh, tires when you uh, start to have issues time to go air them up or uh oh you've got a slow leak you need to get your tire fixed or just uh oh you're going to have a flat soon because you ran over something uh, monitor tire pressure and temperature continuously okay so not only does pressure but it does temperature all right let's go ahead and stop looking at the box talk about it let's go ahead and open it up check it out and then we're gonna get this installed and then definitely see what it offers alright so here we go the actual tire pressure sensor itself as you can see looks pretty easy to install and this is front left so hopefully you can see that when we get it down the light front left so make sure you get these on the tires correctly you got front left front right rear right rear left and then you have the actual receiver so you can see there goes in like a uh, power power port cigarette lighter in your car got a little LCD screen here and it has a USB port so you can charge things from this so you're not going to give up if you've got one of those little car chargers in your uh, power port you're not giving that up it still comes with one so that's cool what else do you get in the box let's take a look well, it's under the box. Everything we should have read off earlier should be in here. You get a little hexa hexa wrench or whatever they want to call this mount. Cool. There's a little uh, more of a little wrench. The nuts. All sorts of little things. And this is for your anti-theft. This is to make it so somebody just can't come around and 
unscrew that and steal it because that would suck especially if you invest money in this thing here's your batteries little uh, 1632's and user manual how to install it there we go alright guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break the video right here we're going to get this set up uh, on the vehicle I'm actually gonna put it on my Nissan Xterra like I said my 2012 Nissan Xterra because it does not have this kind of a system now I also have um, a 2015 Nissan Altima it has this built in I don't have to worry about this on my Altima it's got the tire sensors built in I can click a little button on the on the steering wheel and bring up the tire uh, sensors now I can only see it when it's driving though so um, you know we're gonna look at that can you see this when you're just stationary you know when I start the car up is it gonna tell me exactly what they're at without having to drive because that's a limitation in some of the newer cars With those sensors and stuff on there you've got to be driving to get those readings so, do we do we have that in this let's go take a look we'll be right back all right guys welcome back so we've got this installed on as you can see the FR front right so basically you do this for each tire making sure you put the corresponding one like back right front right front left all that on the right tire so pretty easy you install a little nut as you can see maybe I can get back in here uh, there's a nut back here uh, you install the anti-theft device thing on the back of this and then they line up and they touch the nut and no one can come and just unscrew these you have a special little wrench down here and another little special wrench that I showed you when we unboxed it that actually gets the anti-theft device on there and will help you get these off so if you take this into your tire dealership or tire dealer or whatever uh, be sure you give them the proper tools or they're going to be SOL on getting your tires aired up or fixed or whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm going to uh, go into the vehicle and show you the readout gauge here. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So when you first install these, you will get a readout uh, on the actual display adapter. So here I've actually uh, put it in this little portable uh, power socket here so I could show you a little easier. Uh, so when you install them, it's going to give you the PSI. Now when you shut off the vehicle uh, and start it back up, they're not going to register until you take it out for a little drive. So you've got to go above 9 miles an hour. Uh, and then once you do that, then the uh, numbers start to register in here. And it's going to register. Now if you want to put this in your power socket, in your dash, you can. Uh, if you want to do it like I've done here, you can do that as well. And now you can see each tire is registering how much PSI uh, it has in it. So as you can see, uh, the two on the uh, upper here have 35 PSI and the backs have 34. Uh, so that will tell you exactly uh, how much uh, PSI you've got in your tires. So again, if your vehicle doesn't have this feature, a lot of new vehicles do, a lot of new vehicles don't. Uh, this is a really cool little device to get for um, yourself just so you know exactly where your tire pressure is sitting. Now again, this does actually also have, as you can see under here, a nice USB charging thing so you can actually uh, uh, plug into that, charge your phone, charge your uh, devices, run your Garmin, whatever you want to do. Uh, if your Garmin runs from USB power or whatever. Uh, it doesn't, like if you already have, like so if I look in my power port here that's in my dash, I already have a Zeus uh, power thing in here, power charger, uh, but this actually gives me like a readout of where I park and stuff like that. Well, I don't want to get rid of that, so uh, this is one of my options here, or I can put my Zeus in this, but uh, you know, if you have one of those chargers, like this one right here, uh, already there, you're not, you know, like this one has three, so yeah, I would go from three to one. So you come up with ideas like this little device here that allows you to extend your power socket, just don't want to overload it, blow your fuse or whatever, but anyway, that is the Papago uh, device here for your tire pressure. And wow, I just lost a PSI. So anyway, guys, check out the show notes for a link for this. It's pretty darn cool. Something that you definitely want to have on your vehicle. Um, just so you can monitor your tire pressure. Again, if you don't have this built into your vehicle already. It's a very cool little device. 
If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and as always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thank you.